Hello everybody, today I came across uh, this uh, publication on Facebook uh, and this is regarding hand tracking. I wanted to look at uh, this specific video. Take a look at this. This is hand tracking, very advanced hand tracking, unlike anything we have right now. And this is something very obvious. If you are using VR, you're probably already familiar with this. This is very, very... Uh, inconsistent when it comes to tracking uh, hands especially of course if you use the uh, only hands uh, activities now if you use the controller uh, what will happen that uh, it's very easy to understand how the fingers are actually uh, positioned uh, because I, if you for example press a trigger you know that you know the finger should be positioned in a certain location uh, and if you uh, uh, extend your hand uh, forward, uh, the cameras can pick it up, but it's very limited in what it can actually recognize. This one, however, as you can see, is super, super accurate and can actually take very, very complex, not just one hand gest and gestures, but very complex two hand gestures. When you combine your two hands together and some of the fingers, for example, aren't actually visible. But this algorithm tracks the hands very, very accurately. I was amazed actually seeing this. This is American Sign Language Rapid Motion with Self Contact. So just imagining, for example, uh, an app, and this is actually good for augmented reality, uh, where you can actually uh, see somebody talks with hand language and you're just going to translate it into text or voice. I mean, the use for it is not just for VR, but so for augmented reality as well. It's amazing. Just amazing the accuracy. It's insane. And I'll try it, of course, many different uh, uh, apps that right now that uses the Oculus Quest 2 hand tracking. Uh, it was nice, but... It was so not there. The accuracy doesn't, if I'm just overlapping with my hands, one on top of the other, uh, it just loses tracking. And there's some experiences that I tried where I just said, ah, it just doesn't work well. I mean, it's nice, it is very experimental. Uh, that's what I was trying to say. Now, Facebook actually published a paper. I'm going to link to it in the description of this video so you can read it truly if you like. And you see this in the tracking overview, page three. Uh, they say um, how they actually did this um, multi-view camera system consists of 124 calibrated cameras um, and then how they actually capture it uh, to obtain a 3d scan mesh for every frame as you can see here the images and 3d scan serve as input data to our tracking algorithm so it doesn't mean that you need to have all these cameras uh, you know in your quest but just train an algorithm so we can actually detect uh, very complex uh, different hand movement and gestures, which is nice. Uh, and it continues showing this. And if you dive, want to dive into it, uh, you can actually check this paper. But again, it's very, very accurate as you can see in that uh, video that I showed you. And yeah, right now I, I tried, of course, the current hand tracking of the Oculus Quest 2 and I was very disappointed and you can see this is very experimental and they can say it's experimental uh, and some actually apps try to use it but because it's so inconsistent and inaccurate in many situations uh, you know you just kind of ruined the experience um, for me in general uh, but it's just uh, great to see that actually f Facebook is actually working on the more advanced technologies that can we can benefit from them both again both in AR and virtual reality applications. Now you can actually see me uh, using Elixir and this is an app by the Oculus team that was designed to demonstrate the hand tracking capabilities of the Oculus Quest 2 VR headset. Now it works nice uh, of course as long as you try to stretch what the algorithm can detect uh, like overlapping hands and complex gestures as long as you do simple gestures and the hand are kind of separate uh, it is able to detect it uh, pretty well. Uh, a great degree of accuracy. Um, and just didn't feel even kind of latency. It was pretty fast. Uh, the thing is that, of course, uh, the 
app itself was designed to make you separate your hands and do simple gestures where the hand don't overlap as you can see and if this is simple <clears throat> this works actually nice even then it's not perfect but it works well now uh, what ruined it for me is because it was inconsistent uh, and you can lose tracking and of course if you put hands uh, outside of the field of the field view of the camera it's also lose tracking and uh, if some of the hands are over uh, overlap a bit you can lose tracking and overall it was very inconsistent and um, they can make it make it show uh it's kind of a blend out disappear like kind of uh fade out when there's losing tracking so it won't be kind of more too harsh but again it felt harsh <laughs> so i wasn't kind of a, a fan of that but it just shows you what uh you know what this hand tracking capability uh, can do uh for games for different interactions and this is open uh for uh sdk is open for developers to create their own unique hand tracking built-in applications and games and if you actually search for it there are actually quite a few of them available uh on the on the oculus store for quest uh, some of them are even more uh, advanced uh, than this one so as you can see here just pointing out it felt really good because listen if my entire body can be in vr that will be the ultimate experience right but for this i need to put sensors all over my body you have an external camera that uh points and actually read my entire body movement uh this would be the ultimate because this is a visual representation of your own body inside the virtual space which of course makes the presence appears absolutely the ultimate presence like you're actually there uh, but this is just kind of disconnecting as you can see they don't even put the arms i only see my hands but even then it was so exciting just to experiment this especially you know when i first used the oculus quest headset and even use the controllers and i saw the virtual controllers and actually moving them this was exciting but of course we want more we want more we, more, we want to move these technologies more and head tracking is very very important part because if we look forward in first person especially this is what we see we see our hands first right we don't see our legs like unless we look down something but the hands actually also serve as uh the way for us to interact with their virtual environment most games use actually hand interaction uh, when it comes to virtual reality while they're holding something moving something use it to move in the virtual space uh, so the hands are very very important so this is the first thing that uh, uh, even companies try to nail the, uh, need to deliver more advanced and working technologies because this can really enhance the gameplay experience so yeah, so this is just one option. If you want to try out other things and you have the quest, you just look at the store and you're going to find some uh, hand tracking uh, related applications. Just make sure that you don't use the control for them. I actually tried one, uh, which was designed for hand tracking. It was a mistake and was such a newbie doing this. But uh, then I realized that this was designed for hand tracking. I didn't realize then that there is hand tracking feature, an experimental one in the quest too. Anyway, I was a newbie. As you can see here, I'm actually can holding things. It just felt great by the way although this experience as i told you uh, and the tracking wasn't perfect and the experience wasn't because of that wasn't great either but overall just shows you what the capabilities are of the quest to now and what once you saw what the uh, in the video before uh, what the future we can expect from future hand tracking uh, algorithms to you do uh, this would be something amazing so looking forward to this so tell me what do you think about the hand tracking in general right now with the oculus quest 2 and what do you think about those hand tracking uh algorithm the new ones from facebook that we actually saw uh, in the initial part of the video i'm going to see you more with more cool videos about uh, virtual reality so make sure you subscribe to my channel and give this one a little like see you very soon cheers everyone bye bye